Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, here with a review of a very cool little app called Train Your Ears EQ Edition version 2. Now this caught my eye as it's a little standalone app that claims to help people independently train their ears and frequencies. So let me quickly show you around and along the way I'll show you what I like about it. So we have three main sections to this app. We have the first part being like a player where we can actually play some audio or some noise, that being pink, and white noise. We have options and we have training. So let's go back up here to the, the first part, the player. Now the audio player is very cool. We can actually mono our music, random up the playlist, or loop a selection of a song here on the, the waveform. But we also have something called the live player. This lets us route via a sound card, something like an iPod, radio, even Spotify off the internet, whatever takes your fancy. So below the player, we have options. And this is where we can select a number of basic settings, including the ability to set our own keyboard shortcuts and this very cool feature at the bottom where we can load an instance of something like a room calibration plugin like IK Multimedia's Arc or Sonarworks Reference 3. Obviously, those products don't come with this app, so you'll need a copy of either to use this feature. But it's great to see it's here and I can actually load up my beloved Reference 3 plugin so that I can use my room calibration profile in the training. How cool is that? Now, there's quite a few exercises that come bundled with this app, which is brilliant. It means you can get going with it straight away. So I'm just going to pick one exercise here and have a little go so you can see how this thing works. So let's go for the top one, basic boost and cut with band filter. We can listen to the original. And the effects is. OK, and then we can push what we think it is, give us a little tick at the top, then show solution. Bang on. OK, so you get the basic idea. Now, you may have noticed on the exercise page, the mode section, it says correct or guess. Now, these stand for the type of tests that you'll do. Guess meaning that the exercise has been made for us to guess what frequencies have been cut or boosted. And correct means that we have to choose the frequency ranges and boost them, cut them to try and you know, restore, repair the audio, what the test would have sort of augmented. So let's have a go at one of these correct mode tests and uh, let's go for basic boost and cut with band filter. So it says at the top here that we've got to listen carefully to the equalized signal, then use the EQ below to make it sound like the original again. So let's have a go. Now let's go for 500. Show solution. There we go. I think you get the idea. Now, if down the road you use this quite a lot and you've actually got quite good at all these exercises, you can create your own exercises, which is pretty cool. So at the top here, you can click new and then edit and just literally put in whatever you sort of feel you want to try. Uh, different frequency ranges, different bands, different cues, whether or not you want it to be a guess test or a correct test, loads of things. So you can actually tailor this to be your own teacher, if you will, which is great because it gives the product longevity. So my final thoughts on Train Your Ears. I really think this is a fantastic training tool. I've been using it every morning for about five minutes before starting to work in Pro Tools. This, I feel, is going to be a great application for anyone working in either studios or live sound environments. Excluding all the gear and the software out there, the best tools we have as sound technicians is our own ears. The better our ears are and the better they are at understanding and hearing frequencies, the better work we can do. Fact. So if you haven't noticed by now, I love this app. It's fast becoming part of my ear training life. For the last 20 odd years of me being a musician, I've never stopped musically training my ears. So I think it's great that there's this tool that's now available that means we can also train and maintain our technical ears. What does this cost? It was about 49 euros, which I think is an absolute bargain. For what it is, I can't fault it. I've tried, but I can't. It's brilliant. If you think you're one of those sort of people with really good ears, well, I suggest you get yourself a copy and have a go because you might be surprised. I know I was the first time I tried it. If you're studying music technology, then I recommend you get this. It can only help you along your way. Anyway, have a go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've been Dan and thanks for watching.